Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to print Control D reports into a dataset. Printing Control D reports into a dataset requires the use of two special print mission categories, the SEQL equals and SEQL dash file. SEQL equals has a 17 character limit for the dataset name and SEQL dash file defaults to the dataset name prefix dot mission name dot date and dot time. The dataset name can be customized by exit CDDX005. Now let's go ahead and define our print missions. To define print missions, you go to equals M from the IOA primary option menu. And let's go ahead and define our PRT SEQL print mission with the type of PRT, of course. And we are going to use the SEQL category equals our dataset name that we want our report to go to. Okay, PF3 and PF3. And since this is new, put Y on create. That creates our print mission. Now let's see what happens when we use this print mission to print one of our control D reports. Let's go to equals U. Let's go ahead and bring up our inventory report. Go ahead and do a P on that. Two for deferred printing, which means we're gonna be using a print mission. And we are going to use the print mission we just created, PRT SEQL. As you can see, this report is now on weight print. And we can go ahead back to our print mission, force it in, and see what it did in the active missions environment, builds its print plan, and goes on and starts the printing process. And now that it's printed, we can go ahead and look at the data set we specified as our print mission, as our print data set, and browse it. And you will see that this has our inventory report. One thing to note is that this data set gets created if it doesn't exist. And if it does exist, any new report printed to this, to this data set will be concatenated to the end of this data set. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate the use of the other special print mission category, SEQL-file. Let's go back to Control D, go back to equals M, get out of this, and this time we are going to create PRT SEQLF. The type is still PRT, but this time we are going to use category SEQL-file. And our print mission is PRT SEQLF, PF3, PF3, and since it's new, create it. Now let's go ahead and go back to our report, print it. But this time we are going to use a different print mission, PRT SQLF, and deferred print. After setting our report to be printed by PRT SQLF, let's go ahead and force our PRT SQLF print mission in. See that it's running. It's building the sprint plan. And wait for it to print the nine pages of our report. And now we can take a look at the data set that it created. We are using the default CTDX005, so the default high-level prefix is CTDPRT. Our print mission name is PRT SEQLF. With those two, we should be able to pull up the dataset that was created. As you can see, the date is day 17, and the time is 15.52. And if we browse it, we can see that this is our inventory report. 
You can see that one benefit of using SEQL-file is that each invocation of the print mission will yield a separate data set for your report. That concludes our video. Thank you for your time. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.